During a family picnic, a terrifying moment unfolded when a solitary wolf made off with a baby, leaving the parents fearing the worst, however, an astonishing turn of events occurred as a bald eagle descended from the heavens, performing an act that left the parents astounded. Meanwhile, Donovan McCarthy had just been honored for his bald eagle photography and encountered one of these noble birds by chance. Without his camera, his amusement turned to concern when he found the eagle injured by the roadside, possibly struck by a vehicle, accompanied by his pregnant wife, Elisa, who watched anxiously, Donovan sprang into action to aid the distressed bird after safely securing the eagle in his car, the couple witnessed its initial agitation turn to calmness, hinting at its understanding of their good intentions, in the weeks that followed. A wildlife veterinarian diagnosed the eagle with fractures and prescribed a treatment plan promising recovery, H. Over, the bird was not pleased. With its temporary confinement, showing a strong desire to escape despite its frailty, Elisa, nearing the end of her pregnancy, was cautious around the bird but was touched by its curious glances towards her, this unexpected adventure not only tested Donovan's commitment to wildlife but also brought an extraordinary guest into their lives, teaching them about resilience, care, and the unexpected connections that bind the natural world over a month had passed when Donovan and Elisa prepared to return the now recovered eagle to its natural habitat, they drove deep into the mountains to a secluded plateau surrounded by valleys and low hills, with a gentle gesture, Donovan removed the hood that had kept the eagle calm during the journey, the bird instantly spread its wings, caught an updraft, and ascended into the sky, it circled above them before gliding off into the distance, leaving Donovan and Elisa watching in awe. However, this was not the final goodbye, the eagle became an occasional visitor at their home, often appearing at sunset to sit atop the pine trees, it kept them company in the evenings before swiftly departing, over two months, it became a familiar presence, a silent part of their evenings together, they were unaware that another visitor lurked nearby, a lone wolf, estranged from its pack and struggling to survive, as it ventured closer to human habitats in search of food. Its path was set to cross with Donovan and Elisa's, one day, as they ventured into the forest for a picnic with their new baby, the stage was set for an unexpected encounter, linking the lives of the family, the eagle, and the wolf in an intricate dance of nature and nurture eager for their child to experience the great outdoors, Donovan and Elisa chose a picturesque spot not far from where they had released the bald eagle for their picnic, after setting up. Elisa spotted the silhouette of a bald eagle against the clear sky, wondering aloud if it was their rehabilitated. Friend, Donovan seized the moment to capture the beauty with his camera, leaving Elisa and their baby, Tom, at the picnic site while he sought the perfect vantage point hidden in the shadows, a lone wolf observed the family with a blend of curiosity and hunger, its focus sharpened upon seeing the vulnerable baby laid out on the blanket, an easy target, with Donovan ascending the hill and Elisa momentarily distracted. The wolf sensed an opportunity to pounce for an effortless catch as Donovan positioned his camera on the hillside, a chilling realization struck him, he spotted the wolf emerging from the tree lean, targeting his son, frantic, he tried to alert Elisa, but his shouts were swallowed by the distance, the wolf, embodying both desperation and stealth, advanced towards Tom, unnoticed by Elisa, this moment of terror, however, was punctuated by a remarkable intervention. The same bald eagle they had nurtured and released swooped down in a display of fierce loyalty and protection. Startling the wolf and halting its advance, this unexpected guardian angel, with wings spread wide and talons ready, created a barrier between the wolf and the baby, demonstrating the deep, unseen bonds formed across species. Elisa, turning at the commotion, rushed back to Tom, while Donovan, witnessing the eagle's protective act, felt a profound gratitude for the wild ally they had helped heal. The day at the picnic thus turned from a potentially tragic tale to one of awe-inspiring interconnection, 
highlighting the unpredictable and sometimes magical threads that weave through the tapestry of life in the natural world. In an utterly breathtaking turn of events, the dire situation took a miraculous twist, Elisa and Donovan's fear reached a peak when they saw the wolf capture little Tom, their screams echoing through the landscape, but then, the unimaginable happened, a bald eagle, the same one they had nursed back to health, descended from the sky with a fierce battle cry. Its body streamlined for attack as the eagle plummeted towards the earth, it targeted the wolf with precision, its talons posed to strike with a force comparable to the most powerful punch of a super heavyweight boxer, this force, enough to incapacitate or even kill by impact alone, signaled imminent danger for the wolf, in a last moment bid for survival, the wolf released Tom, attempting to dodge the eagle's deadly approach. The eagle, with a minor adjustment, struck the wolf with lethal accuracy, ending its threat instantaneously, Elisa rushed to their child while Donovan sprinted down the hill, their hearts pounding with fear and disbelief, miraculously, Tom was unharmed, a testament to the eagle's precision and the protective instincts it seemingly harbored towards the family it owed its life to. This incredible act of cross-species allegiance left Donovan and Elisa in awe and eternal gratitude. The notion that the wild eagle they saved had, in turn, saved their child was. Beyond words, a poignant reminder of the deep and mysterious connections that can form between humans and wildlife, this event would forever shape their lives, embedding a profound appreciation for the natural world and its unexpected guardians in a world where stories of human-animal interactions often highlight conflict or tragedy. This extraordinary tale serves as a beacon of hope and wonder, reminding us of the respect and care that is due to all creatures, great and small, the bond formed. On that rainy day, when a decision was made to save a life, illustrates the unpredictable, sometimes miraculous outcomes of compassion and coexistence, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar one, tales that unfold over decades often captivate us the most, imagine Wyatt, a young adventurer who sought the thrill of the unknown on his grandparents farm in the wilds of Alaska, a decision his loved ones deemed lunatic, they couldn't fathom why he'd abandon a conventional, Life for the seclusion of one of Earth's most remote corners, for Wyatt, this wasn't just a whim, it was a return to a land that had enchanted him since childhood, now, over 30 years have passed since that pivotal move, a time when Alaska's wilderness was even more uncharted than today, Wyatt's transition from urban life to the rugged Alaskan frontier might seem odd to some. But his periodic visits and agricultural studies were all in preparation for this dream, However, the reality of homesteading brought unforeseen hardships, his grandfather had been a craftsman of wood products and furniture for many years, but Wyatt aspired to cultivate the land initially aiming to sustain his own needs with hopes of expansion, he encountered early success, a goat acquired for milk soon fell prey to wolves, a harsh lesson in the importance of safeguarding his home against predators. As his vegetable garden began to flourish and he edged closer to self-sufficiency, Wyatt still needed to supplement his food supply, a nearby settlement offered not just basic necessities but also a window into a world of unexpected treasures. The market became his haven, a place to mingle and learn from seasoned Alaskans in this small community, the market wasn't just a source of sustenance but a lifeline to the outside world filling the void of social interaction that Wyatt sometimes missed. Through these visits, he discovered much more than just food for sale, enriching his journey in ways he never anticipated, venturing beyond the market stalls. Wyatt's exploration led him to the section where live animals were traded, a site. That added practical options for his farm, chickens and goats among them, he took mental notes of the offerings, while also hoping to find a puppy to keep him company, however, what he stumbled upon next was utterly unforeseen, within a small cage lay a barely feathered baby bird, the seller explained that this fragile creature, hatched from an egg found on his land and raised in an incubator, was likely some type of eagle, the legality of trading eagles didn't concern Wyatt as much as the birds. Grim fate if left in the wild or, worse, 
in the wrong hands, the vendor was indifferent to the eagle's future, sharing that someone had expressed interest in buying it for a harrowing purpose, to taste it, resolute in his decision, Wyatt, although reluctant to engage in an illegal transaction, could not stand by and let the eagle become a meal, he purchased the bird for twice the asking price. A choice driven by compassion over legality back home, Wyatt faced the daunting task of nurturing them. Eagle without the help of the internet, a luxury unavailable in his secluded dwelling, resourcefully, he turned to his grandmother's collection of books, among which he found a manual on falconry, it wasn't a perfect match, but it provided a starting point, armed with makeshift knowledge and a heart full of determination, Wyatt began the eagle's care, feeding it ground meat as it showed signs of hunger. This moment marked the beginning of an extraordinary relationship between man and bird, a journey of learning, adaptation, and mutual survival that transcended the ordinary into the realm of the remarkable, the eaglet, warmly embraced by Wyatt as a newfound member of his makeshift family, eagerly accepted the nourishment offered, signaling the start of a unique bond between them, through trial and error, and perhaps a touch of providence, Wyatt successfully nurtured the young bird back to health. Witnessing its transformation into the majestic form of a bald eagle as the bird matured. The dark plumage of its youth gave way to the iconic white head, marking its distinguished species, while its body remained a stark, contrasting dark, the realization that he was caring for a bald eagle brought with it a weight of responsibility and legality, yet Wyatt was far removed from the means to seek help from wildlife authorities understanding the gravity of his situation. Wyatt dedicated himself to preparing the eagle, now named Sky, for a life in the wild where it rightfully belonged. He ingeniously crafted a training regimen to awaken Sky's predatory instincts, utilizing a pulley system on his land to simulate the chase for food, this method not only honed Sky's hunting abilities but also strengthened his wings, promising a future where he could thrive independently. Sky's progress was evident when he proudly presented Wyatt with a small rodent, a testament to his growing prowess as a hunter. Anticipating the day of Sky's release, Wyatt fashioned a lightweight steel bracelet. Around the eagle's foot, a sentimental gesture to ensure he could always recognize him, furthermore, Wyatt constructed an eagle box atop the towering trees surrounding his home, providing Sky with a transitional shelter as he prepared to bid farewell to the life they shared, encouraging his ascent to the boundless skies above. This act of releasing Sky into the wild would not only symbolize the culmination of their journey together but also Wyatt's deep respect for the natural order. Underscoring the profound bond between man and nature, Wyatt diligently placed Sky in the eagle box each night, aiming to blend safety with the bird's natural instincts, marking the gradual shift towards independence. This strategy allowed Sky to adapt to a wilder existence while still providing moments of connection with Wyatt. These shared instances on the porch became increasingly rare as Sky matured into his role in the wilderness, embodying the full stature of a majestic bald eagle over the years. Wyatt remained a constant in Skye's life, offering support during lean times or when the eagle sought companionship, however, as Skye reached the age of four, he embraced total freedom, signaling a natural and complete departure from human dependency. During this period, Wyatt's life also underwent significant transformations, he fell in love, married, and was on the brink of fatherhood. Mirroring the cycle of life and renewal, Skye, now fully integrated into the wild, made the eagle boxes. His seasonal refuge, especially during harsh weather, demonstrating the circle of life, he introduced a mate into his habitat, and together, they raised their young, Wyatt had the privilege of witnessing the birth and upbringing of a new eagle generation on his land. Unlike Skye's upbringing, these eaglets were nurtured by their own kind learning the ways of the wild under the guidance of eagle parents. Not a human with a makeshift manual, when Wyatt's farm expanded, so did the ecosystem around. It, enriched by the presence of the eagle family, 
This unique coexistence underscored a profound respect and understanding between man and nature, a testament to the enduring impact of Wyatt's unlikely guardianship of Sky, their story, a blend of human intervention and the natural order, highlights the beauty of cross-species relationships and the seamless integration of wildlife conservation into daily life. When Wyatt's farm flourished and the surrounding settlement evolved into a bustling town, the eagles, including Skye and his family, found the increasing human activity and noise unsettling, eventually, they relocated, marking a poignant moment for Wyatt as he faced the likelihood of never seeing his adopted eagle's son again. Despite this, life moved forward, and the one small settlement transformed into a community with amenities like a primary school, which Wyatt's children attended. The wild essence of the land remained untamed, bordered by national parks to ensure its preservation. Wyatt's farm became a testament to his dreams and hard work, the modest vegetable garden of his early days expanded into extensive greenhouses, allowing for year-round cultivation, his approach to forestry became recognized for its sustainability, a shift from his earlier focus on wood furniture, together with his wife, Wyatt created a legacy of sustainable living that promised to endure through generations. While not all his children were drawn to the farming life, his youngest daughter showed a deep connection to the land and planned to join him post-college, injecting new life and continuity into their endeavors. This evolution of Wyatt's dream into a substantial, sustainable enterprise underscored the value of perseverance and vision. Despite some of his children pursuing different paths, he supported their individual aspirations, cherishing the bond with his daughter who chose to return to the farm. When time marched on, Wyatt found joy in sharing the tale of the eagle he once saved, a story that resonated with both his children and grandchildren. Now, 30 years after that fateful day at the market, the narrative of his kindness and its long-lasting impacts was about to come full circle, illustrating the profound and enduring nature of good deeds, ready to unfold into yet another remarkable chapter in Wyatt's life. During Alaska's summer, families often ventured into the national parks near Wyatt's property to camp and immerse themselves in the wilderness, while the community was generally hospitable towards these guests. There was also a sense of caution many of the local emergency calls were believed to be related to these inexperienced visitors, who sometimes lacked the knowledge to navigate the wild safely, Wyatt, deeply familiar with the terrain, frequently became the go-to person for help in such situations, however, the call he received one early morning was unlike any other, a child had vanished overnight from his family's campsite. The distraught parents discovered their son missing at dawn, sparking fears for his safety in the vast Alaskan wilds. Without hesitation, Wyatt mounted his horse, declining the assistance of his workers to expedite his departure, despite not being as youthful as before, his strength and expertise made him the prime hope for the child's safe return. The wilderness of Alaska is unforgiving, and even a seasoned outdoorsman like Wyatt could overlook crucial safety measures. Especially under pressure, in his urgency to find the boy, Wyatt took fewer precautions than usual. Upon reaching a river, he dismounted to search for tracks, aware that lost individuals often head towards water sources. Troubled individuals often sought refuge or direction near water bodies, making the river a critical starting point for Wyatt's search. However, it also posed significant risks, especially to a child, given the river's swollen state and powerful currents. From a vantage point on the hill, Wyatt's attention was momentarily diverted, leading to a grave mishap, distracted. He didn't notice a loose rock underfoot and tumbled down the slope, halting his fall but not before injuring his ankle and leg, his backpack, containing essential supplies, was lost to the river's flow, further exacerbated by his startled horse fleeing the scene, stranded, injured, and without provisions, Wyatt faced a dire predicament far from any aid, his only means of communication lost downstream. Chastising himself for such an oversight, he realized his situation was now as perilous as the childs he sought to save, with no protection in the wilderness encroaching, he embarked on a painful journey back, 
propelled by the urgency to survive and the dwindling light the necessity to create fire became apparent when darkness approached, despite his extensive outdoor experience, the challenge of igniting a fire through friction, under his condition, proved arduously slow and frustrating, nevertheless. Persistence paid off when he finally kindled a small flame, though his relief was. Short-lived, an unsettling presence announced itself through the underbrush, a large wolf emerging into view, its intentions unclear but its presence undeniably threatening, in those tense moments, Wyatt's thoughts turned to his family and the life they had built, facing the grim possibility that this confrontation could mark his end, in the face of imminent danger, with a predator circling, Wyatt was resigned to his fate, reflecting on a life well lived, filled with love, family, and a fervent passion for the wilderness, however, he harbored a single regret, that his end might be wrought by the very passion that had defined his existence just when the wolf prepared to strike, an extraordinary intervention occurred, an eagle, with formidable precision and force, descended upon the wolf, catching it entirely off guard, the wolf, overwhelmed by the sudden and fierce assault, quickly realized it was outmatched and fled, its survival instincts overtaking the will to fight, Wyatt, relieved. Yet wary of the new arrival, soon discovered an astonishing connection with the eagle, the bird, adorned with a familiar bracelet, was none other than Skye, an eagle Wyatt had nurtured from infancy three decades prior, overwhelmed by emotion and the improbable reunion, Wyatt recognized the depth of the bond they shared, marveling at Skye's continued vitality and loyalty. The encounter served as a poignant reminder of the unexpected ways lives intertwine and the enduring impact of kindness and care. When Sky rested briefly from the exertion, the sound of approaching horses broke their quiet communion. With a final, meaningful glance at Wyatt, Sky ascended into the sky, leaving Wyatt to ponder the miraculous save and the bittersweet farewell to an old friend. When the rescuers drew near, Wyatt was left with a deep sense of gratitude and wonder, acknowledging the profound connection shared with the natural world. And the remarkable, loyal eagle he'd once called his own, Wyatt remained. Fixated on the vanishing figure of Sky until his men found him, their arrival prompted by the sight of his riderless horse, which signaled to them that their leader was in distress, they had rushed to his aid, unaware that a remarkable act of loyalty from an eagle had already averted the crisis, Wyatt's immediate concern upon being rescued was the fate of the missing child, to his astonishment. He learned that the child had been found unharmed, having sought shelter in his family's vehicle. During the night to escape the cold the child's quiet retreat into the warmth of the car had gone unnoticed, leaving him asleep and oblivious to the frantic search efforts, relieved by the child's safety, Wyatt was nonetheless introspective about the near-fatal price of his own ordeal, eager to return home, Wyatt looked forward to sharing the extraordinary tale of Skye's intervention with his family. Skye had become a mythic figure in their household, and this latest encounter added a profound chapter to the bird's legacy, it underscored a profound truth for Wyatt, the enduring connections that can form between humans and wildlife, bridged by acts of kindness, this unexpected reunion with Sky, spanning decades, served as a powerful testament to the lasting impact of compassion, it was a poignant reminder that genuine benevolence, even when directed towards the wild, harbors the potential for unforeseen reciprocation, embodying the essence of life's interconnectedness and the Unexpected ways in which kindness can circle back to us, that's all about this story and now let's watch the next one when an eagle unexpectedly seizes a young boy, his parents are left stunned, yet what unfolds next bewilders them even more, it was a rare day for the family to unwind together, and this particular occasion was no exception, Tom, finding a moment of respite in his busy schedule yearned to spend quality time with his loved ones when the afternoon unfolded, Tom, his wife, and their toddler son, Ralph, reveled in the tranquility of their garden, Ralph, still unsteady on his feet when he had just begun to walk, ventured into the taller grass, 
captivated by the vibrant wildflowers, suddenly, the serenity shattered when a colossal eagle swooped down from a nearby tree, snatching Ralph in its talons. In a state of shock, the parents sprinted towards their son, their minds racing with the urgency of the situation, the eagle, with Ralph in its grasp, hovered ominously, its next move uncertain, fear gripped the parents when they contemplated the potential dangers of the eagle's flight, the suddenness of the attack amplified their dread, especially considering the familiarity they had with this particular eagle, this eagle was not a stranger to the family, they had encountered it years ago in peculiar circumstances that lingered in their memories, now, amidst the chaos. Tom couldn't shake the nagging thought that perhaps his past interactions with the eagle had unwittingly placed his child in jeopardy. Tom's family had deep roots in the ranch, spanning generations, after completing his degree and spending considerable time in the city, returning home was a momentous occasion for Tom, the prospect of ushering in a new era at the ranch, with his young wife by his side, filled him with excitement, as the events unfolded. Tom realized that along with the anticipated changes, unexpected challenges awaited him eager to implement improved conservation practices on his ranch, Tom brimmed with plans for the land, but before diving into work, he sought moments of joy with his wife, Carla, together, they ventured to the rugged cliffs nestled within their ranch, a landscape that stirred Tom's soul, amidst vast grazing fields and fertile soil. Tom found solace in the untamed beauty of the cliffs, a sanctuary where he could reconnect with nature. Even the mundane tasks on the farm held a lure for Tom. One day, while inspecting the fences by the narrow river that meandered through their property, Carla surprised him with lunch. When they prepared to eat, Carla's sharp cry shattered the tranquility. Something peculiar rustled in the bushes across the river, initially dismissing it as a large fish. Tom's attention was drawn to a struggling creature with wings on the water's surface, it was unmistakably out of place in the river. Without hesitation, Tom waded into the water, determined to aid the distressed bird, with each stroke. Uncertainty lingered about the bird's identity, when he drew closer, he discerned the majestic form of a young eagle ensnared in the branches, aware of the bird's perilous plight, Tom pressed forward, propelled by a sense of duty and compassion despite the challenges posed by the swift current, Tom persisted in his rescue mission, with the sun beating down and the river's flow gentle, the condition seemed favorable, when Tom closed the distance, the true nature of the task ahead became apparent. The fate of the young eagle hung precariously in the balance, its life dependent on Tom's unwavering. Resolve, entangled amidst debris and fishing lines, the young eagle fought desperately against its bindings, each struggle only served to tighten the snare, worsened by the relentless pull of the river's current, Tom knew he had to act swiftly, the eagle's life hung in the balance, imperiled by the ceaseless tug of the water approaching the distressed bird, Tom assessed the tangled mess with a sense of urgency. Fishing wire and bits of netting ensnared the eagle's wings and feet, presenting a delicate challenge, any misstep could inflict further harm on the already beleaguered creature, the sight of the eagle trapped amid the river's refuse stirred a profound sense of sorrow in Tom, this innocent animal, a victim of human negligence, now faced imminent peril, with a calculated approach, Tom resolved to extract the eagle from its entanglement, mindful of avoiding any additional injury, despite his best efforts, the eagle, whom Tom affectionately dubbed, Rocky, remained combative, each attempt to lift the bird elicited a fierce response, as Rocky fiercely defended itself against perceived threats, Tom's soothing words fell on deaf ears, as Rocky's instinct to resist persisted unabated, in a moment of ingenuity, Carla's suggestion to use Tom's shirt as a makeshift barrier proved effective in calming the agitated bird with Rocky temporarily subdued. Tom and Carla painstakingly began the process of freeing him from the tangled web working meticulously, they gingerly removed the fishing wire and netting, mindful of Rocky's fragile state, despite the challenges, their patience and care prevailed, and at last, 
Rocky was liberated from his confines, the toll of his ordeal was evident, his wing bore a severe bend, feathers were missing, and one talon appeared injured, though free from captivity, Rocky's journey was far from over, with their hearts heavy with concern. Tom and Carla resolved to provide the injured eagle with the care and attention he desperately needed. Despite the hardships ahead, their unwavering commitment to Rocky's well-being remained steadfast, determined not to release Rocky in his compromised state, Tom and Carla took meticulous care to stabilize him, they gently wrapped him in the shirt, securing his injured wing, before placing him in the picnic basket Carla had brought along, their goal was to minimize any movement that could exacerbate his injuries. Ensuring Rocky remained as still and secure as possible during transport returning home, they promptly contacted the local veterinarian who specialized in caring for their animals, while wildlife shelters were scarce in the area, they were unwilling to give up on Rocky, the veterinarian arrived equipped with a bird cage, swiftly attending to Rocky's injuries, with skillful precision, he bandaged the eagle's wing and tended to his injured talon administering medication to ease his pain and promote healing. Acknowledging the challenges ahead, the veterinarian cautioned that many wildlife centers might not offer the extensive care Rocky required. Undeterred, Tom and Carla resolved to undertake Rocky's rehabilitation themselves, guided by the veterinarian's instructions, they received guidance on feeding Rocky even receiving vitamins to supplement his diet and hasten his recovery, initially confined to the small bird cage to limit his movement, Rocky's grumpy demeanor persisted. Using chopsticks to offer him food without touching him, Tom and Carla patiently attended to. His needs, though initially resistant, Rocky's hunger eventually outweighed his reluctance, and he began to eat when Rocky's talon healed, he regained some semblance of autonomy, managing to grip food with his injured foot while balancing on the other, this small victory restored a measure of dignity to Rocky, his injured wing remained a significant concern, limiting his mobility and independence. Rocky's unexpected downturn underscored the inherent challenge of discerning illness in birds, in the wild, displaying signs of weakness could spell doom, leading to abandonment or predation, by the time humans recognize symptoms, the bird is often gravely ill, aware of this reality, the vet had cautioned Tom and Carla to remain vigilant. When Rocky began refusing meals, alarm bells rang for Tom and Carla, despite his usual tolerance of their presence, Rocky's refusal to eat hinted at a deeper issue. Hastily summoning the vet once more, they braced themselves for the possibility of bad news. During this visit, Rocky exhibited a heightened awareness, his beak and talons poised defensively, though he had grown more accustomed to Tom and Carla's presence, the unfamiliar vet elicited wariness, recognizing the necessity of a thorough examination, albeit fraught with risk, they reluctantly agreed to sedate Rocky, the vet proceeded with caution, administering a minimal dose of sedative to avoid exacerbating Rocky's fragile condition, upon inspection, a startling discovery awaited them, a piece of metal, likely from a fishing hook, embedded in Rocky's flesh beneath his wing, this foreign object had sparked a severe infection, concealed from view by his plumage with delicate precision, the vet removed the offending fragment and cleansed the wound, another round of antibiotics was prescribed in hopes of combating the infection, the immediate concern lay in Rocky's recovery from sedation. Despite the vet's efforts to rouse him, Rocky remained unresponsive, a tense moment passed. Before a second dose of medication finally stirred him from his stupor, groggy and doubtless in discomfort from the procedure, Rocky's awakening offered a glimmer of hope amid the uncertainty of his prognosis. Back within the confines of his enclosure, Rocky found solace in the familiar surroundings as he embarked on his healing journey, remarkably his recovery seemed to accelerate. A testament perhaps to the relief from pain and discomfort, his demeanor softened, and there were even moments of genuine excitement when Tom and Carla approached. Gradually, Rocky began to exercise his wings with renewed vigor, strengthening them in preparation for his eventual return to the wild, recognizing the importance of a gradual transition, 
Tom constructed a spacious outdoor enclosure, replete with various perches and resting spots, allowing Rocky to acclimate to the open air. After weeks of observation and preparation, the moment of release arrived, with a mixture of apprehension and hope, Tom and Carla opened the enclosure. Granting Rocky the freedom he had long yearned for, initially hesitant, Rocky perched atop the nearby trees, surveying his surroundings with a newfound sense of liberty, then, in a breathtaking display of grace, Rocky spread his majestic wings and soared into the boundless sky, it was a moment of profound beauty, tinged with a hint of sadness for Tom and Carla, who watched their feathered friend embrace his newfound freedom, days passed. And to their astonishment, the call of an eagle echoed. Outside their home, rushing outside, they beheld the sight of Rocky perched high in the branches, a silent sentinel observing their daily lives, content to watch over them from his lofty vantage point, Rocky made the tall tree his sanctuary, spending countless hours in silent vigil, though they offered him the option to return to the enclosure, Rocky seemed to prefer the freedom of the open sky, inspired by his choice. Tom resolved to honor Rocky's independence, constructing an artificial eagle's nest nestled within the branches, with a heart full of gratitude and pride, Tom watched as Rocky soared, a symbol of resilience and the enduring spirit of freedom, he would come and go when he pleased, they couldn't help but feel it impolite not to offer a bed for such a frequent guest, crafting the perfect nest for him was quite the adventure, requiring ingenuity to place it high enough for Rocky's comfort. Witnessing Rocky sleep in the nest for the first time made all their efforts worthwhile, he had truly become part of the family by then, soon, they received joyous news, their family was expanding once more with the anticipation of a baby, the couple was elated, a new generation would soon join them on the ranch after the baby's arrival, Rocky greeted them upon their return from the hospital, perched on lower branches as if curious about the new addition to Carla's arms, over time. He seemed to adjust to the baby's presence, continuing his regular visits when their son. Ralph grew, they relished spending time outdoors, ensuring he received plenty of fresh air amidst the garden's trees, family walks on the ranch and by the river became a common pastime, with Rocky often observing from above, before they knew it baby Ralph was blossoming into a curious toddler. They endeavored to spend every possible moment together, aware of the hectic nature of ranch life. Especially with both crops and animals to tend to, Carla, still on leave from work, often brought the baby to Tom while he worked. Tom ensured he dedicated any free time to his family on a beautiful spring day in the garden, with the sun setting later, they reveled in the extended outdoor time, it was an idyllic day, with Ralph taking his first steady steps across the lawn while Tom and Carla enjoyed snacks together. The calls of an eagle above added to the tranquility, but their peaceful day took a sudden turn. As Ralph ventured toward the wildflowers beyond the manicured garden, Rocky swooped down unexpectedly, seizing the child by his clothing and lifting him into the air shocked and bewildered. Tom and Carla wondered if the eagle was envious of their child or viewed him as prey, racing toward the bird, they feared the worst, knowing that if Rocky ascended higher, they'd have no chance of reaching him, their terror escalated when they imagined the potential consequences of a fall from great height. Desperately calling out to the bird and their son, they sprinted forward, strangely. Ralph remained silent, seemingly unaware of the danger, then, in a surprising twist, Rocky altered his course, flying towards Carla, landing gently beside her, he released the child and settled nearby, Carla, overwhelmed with relief, scooped up her son, tears streaming down her face, which in turn prompted Ralph's tears, the emotional roller coaster left them shaken. Grateful for Rocky's unexpected act of benevolence still haunted by the terror of what could have been, however, Ralph persisted in. Making a hissing noise, attempting to convey something crucial, Tom suddenly realized what the toddler was trying to communicate and dashed back to where Rocky had initially seized him, there, they discovered a massive snake poised to strike, its head concealed beneath the very flower Ralph had been drawn to, it became apparent that if Rocky hadn't intervened, 
the snake would have inflicted a potentially fatal bite to the child's face, swiftly capturing the snake, they later released it far from their home, but first, they meticulously examined Ralph, remarkably, despite the state of his torn clothing where the eagle had grasped him, the toddler remained unharmed, with not a scratch on his skin, save for some minor redness from the strain of flight, sadly, the same could not be said for Rocky, carrying Ralph's weight had injured the eagle's talons, preventing him from closing them properly, to everyone's amazement, Rocky allowed Tom to approach and assist him, they transported him back to his spacious enclosure, where he received veterinary care to heal his talons, once recovered, Rocky resumed his role as their guardian, free to come and go as he pleased from that day forward, the family remained deeply grateful for Rocky's protective presence, watching over them from the skies, their extraordinary experience served as a poignant reminder of the bonds between humans and nature, and the unforeseen ways in which they can be intertwined.